What's up guys, Black Warzone, and welcome back to another video, and today we're back on Pro Cycling Manager 2020 for stage number 13 of our Vuelta playthrough with Ineos Grenadiers, uh, a crucial stage to start off the third and final week of this Vuelta, a stage between Muros and Mirador de Zaro, 32 kilometers only for its time trial, um, but trust me, it's it's a tough time trial with the climb of Mirador de Zaro, uh, where I believe the Vuelta finished in... 2012 there i think it was win from Purit from purito uh i mean every little climb in spain has basically been won once by purito um but yeah it's going to be an interesting uh interesting time trial i do know that the game is broken on this time trial it is extremely easy for me uh or for the the, the, the user i guess to uh to do well so we'll see how that goes uh because i've seen the results i've never taken part in the time trial though so uh, i might choke you never know but chris Froome is currently second of the gc if you haven't seen the stage of the angliru i highly recommend you to go and watch actually just watch stage 11 and 12 where the gc changed uh quite quite massively because right now we are second one second behind primus roglic the gap is one second between um between christopher Froome. And Primus Roglic in favor of the Slovenian rider, uh, but hopefully things can change today. And our first rider on the way will be Michal Golas, the um, the Polish sprinter. I mean, used to be a sprinter. He's more of a, um, of a Baruda now, I guess. Um, the, uh, the 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 Polish rider, the friend of Michal Kwiatkowski. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just trying to um, find stuff to say. Uh, before seeing him uh, start the time trial, but he's on the way, 31 km left in uh, this solo effort. As I said, the time trial is broken. Um, I do not remember how to play it. Because I said, I I'd never did it. I mean, I I played it online, uh, but I, I choked big times, if I remember correctly. Um, so yeah, I just need to remember the tactics, and I... I would be surprised if I wasn't leading the Vuelta tonight. Like, genuinely, I would be surprised. Good daddy office for Cameron Wirth. Uh, we'll go 72 with him. He's a better time trialist than Michal Golas. So uh, we'll see if maybe 72 is the um, best strategy. I know you need to start the Mirador de Zaro with quite a lot of energy. Uh, and with good reasons. It's 2 kilometers, an average of 14%, a max of 23. The, it's not a climb for the faint-hearted. Uh, so yeah, we're, we're going to have uh, to do quite well here. But um, I, I have full confidence and trust in Chris Froome. Right, Golas is in the Mirador. Uh, he's currently 234 behind Harry Tanfield. But this is where things can get interesting. Uh, I'm guessing this is where Nicolas Lamini is going to do well as well. Uh, I mean, Omar Goldstein as well with 65 Mountain could take a, a decent uh, a decent lead. We'll see what happens. Lorenzo Manzan, Romain Segle uh, are basically stopped on a, a 20% gradient. Uh, Michal Golas is already dead. Okay, so you need to have a bit more energy than uh, what I previously had with him. That's good to know. Cameron Wirth uh, had a lot of energy left. We're going to go 99. Probably could have paced a, a bit before with him. Um, but across the line, that's well in truly first place. 1 minute 48 ahead of Nicolas Domini and 2.22 on Romain Segle. Brandon Rivera is also starting the Mirador del Zaro. Uh, I believe he has the legs to overtake him and Worth. I mean, he's a better climber, better time trialist, better in flats. A lot of things are better. He was also ahead of him at the previous intermediate. Um, and Brandon is going to catch up. Francisco Ventoso and Hector Saez, the both of them being stuck on a 20% gradient. Rivera is going to walk past them. I mean, I believe that if he was walking, he'd go quicker. But yeah, Rivera definitely has, a, has better legs than the two Spaniards right there. Um, we'll see what that means for um, the finish position of Brandon Smith Rivera. I think it's just Brandon Rivera now. I don't think it's Brandon Smith anymore. Uh, but 200 meters left. He's going to use all of his energy and across the line for the Colombian. One minute quicker than Cameron Wirth. 
and the opposition took its time, but it finally managed to beat Brandon Rivera at the Mirador de Ezzaro, Brand um, Nelson Rivera, with, um, with the win, sorry, with the lead, not the win, um, but yeah, good time troll from the uh, Portuguese, he is a decent climber as well, so that definitely helped during the final, um, or during the Mirador, Brandon is in second place, 30 seconds behind him, Remy Cavani is in third place, uh, but we're now going to start uh, we've, had, we've got Van Barl on the road, we'll have Amador, very soon then Seuze, Carapaz, and Chris Froome. Uh, once again, as per usual, I haven't checked the uh, race day form of Chris. So, if it's a plus 5, it's stupendous, I've won the Vuelta. If it's a minus 5, uh, I don't know. And as TJ Van Garderen takes the lead at the Mirador de Ezzaro, Dylan Van Barl starts it. Um, he should be able to take first place. Richard Carapaz is also going to start his uh, solo effort. Basically, um, at the door of the top 10, the Richard, uh, although it's going to be quite tough to beat Dumoulin. Um, I mean, on, on paper it would, but knowing that this time trial is a bit fucked, you never know what could happen. Uh, also, Amador, Souza, Carapaz all have bad days. I'm really not confident with Chris right now. I, I swear, like, the team must have, like, eaten something raw or something not like, basically uncooked and the entire team is having a shit day. I really hope that Chris did not eat said product, please. In the meantime, Von Barlow overtakes that, uh, Nance Peters, soon will uh, be Hessink. no I mean he won't get the, he, he won't get Hessink. Von Barlow crossed the line, 37 seconds, quicker than TJ Van Garderen, Amado, Souza, Carapaz are on their way and the top 5 is yet to go. Starting from Thibaut Pinot in 4th place, followed, followed, wow that's French, Jesus Christ, followed by Enric Mas. It's time for a very bad day for Chris Freeman. <laughs> yeah, it was bound to happen, wasn't it? It was bound to happen. Alright, well then, uh, Chris Freeman with a minus 3, that's the worst of days out of the entire team. Uh, shit. That was my chance to, like, capitalize. I mean, good thing is we don't lose time trial, but we do lose in mountain. Also, cross the line, Andrea Amador, second place behind Van Barle. Carapace starting the, uh, the Mirador, sorry. I mean, mountain stats aren't affected today for him, so that's great. He can uh, increase the rhythm. Tom Dumoulin seems to be having a decent time trial as well. Uh, I mean, he is destroying the, the competition a minute ahead of Thio Pino. Uh, and I mean, basically first everywhere. But this is where he could lose time in the Mirador. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping that uh, Carapaz has what it takes, because if he doesn't, then it means that Chris probably won't have what it takes either. Wet Pulse takes the lead. Oh god. This is not going well. Dumoulin across the line, first place, 16 seconds. It's a 1 2 3 for the Netherlands uh, on a Healy time trial, not something you'd uh, usually expect. Come on, Richard. I know you've got this. I know you've got this. Come on, son. Come on, come on, come on. Richard Carapaz across the line. Second place, same time as Christopher, as a uh, Whirlpools. Shit. And Chris Froome starts the Mirador de Ezzaro with a um, gap 131 on Tom Dumoulin. Uh, I do not remember what the gap was for Richard Carapaz um, when he... Uh, actually, maybe if I click on Carapaz, can I see it? He was 210 behind. I've got a 40 second lead. But I am a worse climber, and I don't have a decent race day form. A lot of things can still uh, happen. Guillaume Martin is going to cross the line. Guillaume is absolutely knackered. So seems to be Thibaut Pinot. Henrik Mas also seems to be struggling. Chris Froome, not too shabby. Not too bad, the Christopher. Um, Guillaume Martin, 239 behind Tom Dumoulin. Thibaut Pinot across the line. The Frenchman takes ninth place, 139 behind Tom Dumoulin as well. Christopher Froome. Will soon cross said finish line just behind Henrik Mas. Henrik Mas is in sixth position. Chris Froome sprints until the line. First place, 14 seconds quicker than Tom Dumoulin. What an effort by Christopher Froome, the white Kenyan, going for, I believe, his fifth win on this Vuelta. Uh, no, impossible, but it would be maybe the, the fifth win of Ineos. Unless Primoz Roglic can defeat him, he cannot. 102 for Primoz Roglic. Big. Big counter performance from the Slovenian, which allows not only Christopher Froome to take the win, but also to take the lead of the general classification of this Vuelta a España. 
101 on Primus Rogelich, 423 on Mars, 505 on Pino, 737 on Guillaume Martin, and then uh, the gaps are already massive. Tom Jumolin makes an appearance from 12th to 8th place in the top 10. So does Richard Carapaz, who uh, arrives in P9. The likes of Michael Woods, Davide Formolo, mainly uh, are the big losers today. Even Sosas retains the uh, Polka jersey of the mountain classification. Christopher Prim increases his lead in the green uh, jersey classification, the point classification, as Henrik Maas maintains um, and increases as well his gap over Alexander Vlasov for the white jersey, uh, and without any surprise, Ineos Grenadiers maintain the team classification. It's been a bit tougher than expected, uh, but I mean, I did win. I, I put a minute on Rolich, despite having a minus three. That's how uh, destroyed this time trial is. So yeah, uh, 15 seconds on Tom Dumoulin, Carapace in third place ends up quite well with the 71 in time trial, then Wettpulse doing well as well, the um, the um, a former teammate of Christopher from one of his uh, closest friends actually, Dylan van Barle, nice performance all round from uh, the Netherlands, 2, 4 and 5, no dubs but we move, uh, Roglic is, ends up in sixth place, 102 counter performance from the Slovenian as I've mentioned, then Andrea Amado, Henrik Mas, TJ Van and David De La Cruz. Nice 15th place for Brandon Rivera that won't go on, uh, unnoticed. Same time as an Alexander Vlasov. Uh, quicker than a Marc Soler or a Yoni Zegire. I mean, it's, it's a nice performance from, uh, from Brandon. Rémi Cavagna in 23rd, the French uh, time troll champion, having a stinker that day. Same for Guillaume Martin, losing quite a lot. The same time as Hugh Carthy, the winner of the Angleru. Um, and yeah, Dan Martin also uh, yeeted out of the top 10. Who finished last and what was the gap? 15.38 for Valentin Ferron. That's, that's kind of like, that, that's the, the thing as I like to say. Uh, let me just take a look at the EF. I want to know where Mike Woods finished. 98. Oh my god. Mike Woods looks, lost 6 minutes today. Michael Woods lost 6 entire minutes. That's peak. Right then, uh, what's the next stage? Lugo Urense. Uh, it's going to be a hilly stage, so potentially a sprint finish uh, with a few strong riders. At least that's what I'm suggesting, uh, meaning that Chris should be able to retain his uh, red jersey, red jersey that he's lost uh, the couple of day, a uh, couple of days ago. Then he got it back. Then he lost it again. Then he lost it. No, then he got it back. Then he lost it again. Um, hopefully. Today was the last time he'd have to uh, fight to get it again. We now have one minute of a lead on Primus Roglic with five more stages, including a stage in Madrid. Tomorrow shouldn't be seeing any gaps. The day after that, probably not between Moss and Di Puebla de Santa Maria. The day after that, between Salamanca and Ciudad Rodrigo, probably not. And the main stage will be Sequeros, Alto de la Covatilla. We will see what happens on stage 17. But um, we'll go back to the present with tomorrow's stage between Lugo and Urense. If you've enjoyed today's stage and why not leaving a like down below. If you're new on here and want to see more of my content, then feel free to subscribe. You can find me on my social medias, the links being in the description down below. And I'll see you tomorrow for stage number 14 of La Vuelta with Ineos Grenadiers and Christopher Froome. In the meantime, my name has been Blacko. It has been an absolute pleasure talking to you guys. Have a good one and goodbye. Pull up, pull up in the gold I'm bleeding. All them other man they feeding, I don't wanna go bombi Them I don't know what I do when I go from feeling Leading the pack in black and I'm on with the bad Snapping with a phone and dab, I'll stop a man with a duster Put him in a drip and sip, blockbuster